Hey guys, it's Ashley Bornanson here in Hollywood with the Red Carpet Report. It is day three leading up to the Oscars and today is one of our favorite events. It's the food and drink preview of the Governor's Ball. We get to try some of the best food from international world-class chef Wolfgang Puck. Try some of our favorite cocktails from our friends here at Patron and see the behind the scenes of what goes into making the Oscars. The whole layout, how it's set up, everything. So let's go check it out. Hi, okay, so we're with Mark Friedland, who designs the creative, amazing invitations that go out and the envelopes. And the envelope, and then we also have an online collection as mm -hmm. well that's available through Postmark for everybody at home to celebrate the Oscars on Sunday as well. That's really cool. And you've been designing this for about three years, this right? Is the third year I've done the envelopes, first year that we've done all of the wardrobe of invitations for Oscar events, and it's the second year that we've made uh, the invitations available online. Okay, so what makes this year's envelopes different than other years? Okay, so when I designed the envelope, I really wanted to dis uh, design something that was going to be iconic. Mm -hmm. So it's not really subject to fashion or trend or whims or anything like that. But we always slightly re-engineer it a little bit to make sure it's dummy proof on, on you know, you know, it's a nervous moment. Yeah. So, and I'm sitting there in the audience a little nervous too, making sure that everybody could get the winner's card out. <laughs> so it's a well-engineered envelope. Mm -hmm. So we took it out from the seams a little bit just to make sure it wasn't so snug. Because every year, sometimes, before you started designing them, especially the girls would have a hard time yes. opening the envelope, so that was your goal, right? Yes, to make sure that it had a beautiful, that it looked great on camera, but that it also functioned really well as, as well. And that it also um, is a very uh, momentous keepsake for the winners to have, mm -hmm. because we want to make it so that they would be proud of this for the rest of their lives. Cool. Can we try opening one? You can be more okay. than happy to open one. Okay, so... And it's leading actress. Best... <laughs> we're going to pretend best host. Best host yeah. is... Is... Oh, let's just... Oh, very easy to open my envelope. <laughs> and Goes it's you. to Ashley Bornanson. <laughs> oh, my God. Congratulations. No, it feels really... Just really... Yes, very substantial, very durable, like easy to read. Yes. Yeah, this is like gold. This is like yes. Willy Wonka's golden ticket. It's better. <laughs> it's better. Okay, so tell me about the invitations, because all these are a bit different. Yes. So these are for the suite of Oscar events. Most people know of Oscar Sunday or the Academy Awards, mm -hmm. but actually um, for Academy members and nominees, there's a series of events. Yeah. So this year we approached, uh, like we do most of our projects, from a fashion perspective. Mm -hmm. We came up with a palette. We have a nice, consistent look. So now everybody who is getting an invitation to one of the events immediately knows it's a special Oscar yeah. uh, event for this season. So we have Beautiful. the colors of amethyst and emerald, which is the color of the year for 2013. We have the ruby, black diamond. I so these it. are the envelope invitations as well. Very beautiful. And like you said, you said viewers can go online and design their own Oscar party invitations, Absolutely. correct? So let's take a look at this computer screen. Let's just okay, so get over here. All right. So this is the collection that's available on Postmark. Okay. It's the Oscar collection by Mark Friedland, inspired by the invitations that we have done. But there's something for everybody, whether you want you know, something that's really glitzy and glamorous, if you want something that's just more mid-century modern. Mm -hmm. And then we have also made available uh, red carpet bingo. I love that. So people can play along at home, mm -hmm. download this, and everybody just loves to comment when people are arriving. Mm -hmm. So this is a great way to get people in the mood and in the spirit. Have you been doing this for a few years? This is our second year that we've... Okay, yeah, we're... I literally played your exact game last year. Was it fun? <laughs> it was really yeah, and we have some really fun <laughs> things like who's wearing daytime sunglasses, mm -hmm. who's wearing Dior, and the whole purpose of this is, while what happens in Hollywood is very exclusive, this makes watching the Oscars very inclusive. So we want to bring everybody together to be able to enjoy the fun and excitement. Exactly, and it also keeps everyone from watching the whole thing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but we, I think there's going to be some, with Seth MacFarlane, there's some Great performances this yeah. year, Barbara Streisand, Adele. Definitely. It's gonna be We're going to have a lot of viewers. It's going to be a great show. <laughs> well, thank you so much, right. Mark. Thank you, I'll Ashley. keep an eye out on All the right. envelopes. All right. <laughs> and welcome to the red carpet. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Thanks for watching the red carpet report. If you like this video, be sure to like the video. And for more interviews, subscribe. We'll see you at the Oscars.